Yeah, hey guys, so this week I thought rather than just slap a floor plan on for you guys to look at, I'd actually take you through and show you what it looks like in real life. So stick with me and I will give you a personal tour. So as we walk up the entry here, we have nice big rake ceiling there, uh, timber flooring there, just to finish off, nice little porch. Um, as we come through here, this is the entry. We have a nice big glass door at the front, um, which walks into a nice big hallway. Uh, we've got timber flooring throughout here, which really, I think, finishes it off. It goes really well with the way it's been furnished as well. Um, as we turn left here, we have the master bedroom. Really is a good size, plenty of room in here. Um, we also have the big double doors, which go out onto the little porch there, um, which is quite a nice little feature. Um, as we come through this way, we have the ensuite. So as you can see, we've got the big double shower in there. You've got the double vanity, you've got me. Um, but as you can see, there's, there's plenty of room in here. This is your Esser Stone bench tops, 20 mil Esser Stone. Um, and in here we have the walk-in robe. This is a real talking point with this house because I don't know, some people don't really agree with the idea of it coming off the ensuite. Um, so you either love it or hate it. But anyway, each to their own. As we continue through this way, we have a toilet. Forget about that, we'll keep going. Um, so now we head back out towards the entryway. We have the garage through here. Really just looks like any old garage, so we're not gonna show you in there. Um, but now we've got like, we've also got this little recess here. Um, as we come down this way, we have the theater room. Really good size theater there. Um, we've got the big window on the side. They've also included the bulkhead, but again, that's an option. Also this glass little finish here to go either side of the theater. If we turn around, we have the two bedrooms. So as you'll see, we've got the two really nice design bedrooms, uh, pretty standard size. They're three by three and a half, so really good size. You've got the mirrored robe doors there as well. They are standard. And if we continue out this way, we have the same thing on the other side. Again, really good size room, plenty of room to get around the bed, fit your bedside tables in, and again, includes the mirrored robe doors. We go back out this way, we then have the toilet again, but there's a basin in this one. So we've got the powder room here, the powder finish. We've also got the tiling up to 1200. Again, they're upgrades, but really add a nice finish to the home. Um, and then in here we have the, the spare bathroom. So this little shower here, that's all your semi-frameless shower. Uh, we go through here, again, it's got the Esser Stone bench top. Everything you see here is pretty well included. Um, the tiling's a bit different. Again, we've got the 1200 mil tiling up higher, but I think it really finishes the bathroom off nice, as well as I've included a nice little bit of glass work there. So now we get to the exciting part of the house where we spend most of the time the laundry. I don't really spend too much time in here, but this is the laundry. Again, they've gone with plenty of storage. Um, storage nowadays is very important to a lot of people. Please excuse the printer. There isn't normally a printer there. Um, but as you can see, again, they've gone with the Esser Stone bench top, the nice tiling to finish it all off. Um, again, some more, more storage there, mirrored road doors, um, and also the big, big basin there. No, nah, no, nah, seriously, this time now we'll get to the part where it is quite big. Um, so this is our living and dining. So as you can see, they've gone with a really high ceiling there. It's 37 course up there. Um, but again, really good size, plenty of room to get around. Uh, I think it's only a three by two, this one. So it really utilizes the space. Um, you've got your theater back there. You could also, rather than a big bookshelf, you could have a TV over there. Um, but if we do a U-turn again, this is your kitchen. So again, plenty and plenty of storage. Um, but that's great nowadays, you know, you can never have too much storage. Uh, and it's also got the waterfall lens on the bench top. Really nice design, really well finished. Um, the girl who does all our interior designing, got a creditor, she does a really awesome job. Um, but we also have the servery window here, which, which I think is a really cool finish, especially if you love entertaining. It really does make for great outdoor living. Um, and if we continue around this way, whoop, there's our double glazing, just in case anyone wanted to see what that actually looks like. 100% Australian made, so a really great resource that we now have on offer here at Reading. And if we head out this way, we now have the Alfresco. Good size, nothing too serious, it doesn't need to be. We've got a nice little bench here which finishes it off. Um, but the last thing I really want to show was just this big glass window, the corner panel window. Again, that is a bit of an upgrade, but 
it really adds a nice feature to the back of the house. So those two things you can see right there. If I was going to build this house, they're definitely things I'd look at upgrading. Uh, to me, I believe that's the wow factor. So, so yeah, but that's just me. Each to their own. So I hope you like me little tour. And if you would like to come and see it yourself, it's actually down here in Vass. We are open Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays and Sundays. So get down for a look. Thanks, guys.